Welcome everyone back to the next Smart Suite Showcase. If you're new here, I'm your host, Nate Montgomery. And in this series, we share the ways customers are using our platform. In honor of the NRL starting up this month, I thought it would be fun to showcase the ways team managers are using Smart Suite to manage players, games, and create game sheets. Let's dive right in. We are back in the homepage of Smart Suite. Once again, if you want to download the template I'm using today, feel free to go to the Add New Solution, start with a template, we can browse through 200 examples of business processes inside of SmartSuite. You can find this template inside of the SmartSuite Showcase section here. I'll start off in the Data Scheming Dashboard widget to highly go over the structure of the solution. It's pretty straightforward. We have players, games, and opponents, and then we have performances, which represents the stats and the notes about how a player played inside of a game. We'll start over in our member summary grid view in our players app, which represents a CRM for our team. If I open up a record, we can see general information about this player at the top, their contact information. We can attach waivers and headshots to keep player information in one place. We also have a link to game performance stats, which we'll talk about later. Not only can you store player information inside of this record, if you're a manager, you can also track the status of their payments on team dues. In this record, Ronald has not paid his 2023 season dues. Let's go over to the communication center, jump over to emails and send a new email. If I pick a dues notice template that I've created, I can easily send an email, pulling the email from the existing email in that field and send the email. The email will show up in this thread and any replies back are gonna populate here, keeping the conversation about Ronald's payment directly on Ronald's record. That way other coaches and stakeholders within the team can see what's happening with Ronald. Another great view is the player gallery where you can add images or headshots to the players, which helps coaches put faces to names. Let's move over to the performances. Right now we're looking at past performances by game, which is filtering only where the game status is game played. So they've been completed. Here we have a player linked to a game that plays a position and has fields that collect the stats of the actions that happen within that game. This app not only collects the stats from the game and relates it to a player, but it also allows coaches or team managers to help set the schedule for games, especially for determining the positions of players in games. In this example, you're going to be needing a position for each player in each game, which means if you have 22 positions open per game, you're going to need 22 records per game. To easily recreate those records for each game, you can go to this view called Positions Template, and using an automation I've set up to create a new record when this Create New Game flips from No to Yes, you can easily bulk select all the records in this template, flip the Yes No to Create New Game, and the bulk selector will start flipping the values and it will start creating records for that next game. Once those records are created through the automation, you can easily flip to another view called Positions Needing Games, and then you can bulk select all records, look into the link record to games, pick the game that's gonna be played, and all the records will fill with that value and move out of this view. From there, you can move to Positions Needing Assignment, where you can now pick which player is gonna play the position in that game. Games is where we're going to be collecting game information, but it also collects information from the performances, including the total amount of points scored. If I open a record, we have a formula field collecting the total points based on what was scored cumulatively by all the players. We have the opponent score, a status of the game. We also have an automation set to when a status moves to postponed or canceled. It notifies all of the team managers and coaches with the summary of information about this game and the cancellation information. Moving down, we have the game information, what round it is, the venue, the opponent. We also have a smart doc field where you can place analysis and game notes that happen about this game, which are linked to that opponent. One important thing to team managers is having physical sheets of paper there during the games to be able to understand who's playing in what position and then to also record the stats during the game to be able to bring it back and start inputting information into Smart Suite. Using the document designer, you can easily create a game day sheet template that pulls in relevant fields of information from your games app, including the match day information, place to relate your players and positions, and a place to record or tally the stats for each player, including a place for notes. This one's already filled, but if we move on to the next record, we can see blank documents, which you can pen in right on the side of the field. You can easily print or export this by using the two buttons on the top right. Moving over to opponents, we have opponent information, including our record versus this team, based on the result of the game. If I open up a record of an opponent, we have a status denoting if you're trying to schedule a game with this opponent, or if they're actually a scheduled opponent on your team schedule. We have fields for contact information if you're looking to utilize our communication center to maybe to send their main point of contact information about a game you're trying to schedule with them. We also have the link to all the games played versus this opponent, including the total points, their opponent points, the result, the status, and where it was played. And using count fields with a filter, we can get the record against this opponent. 
You can even get more granular with the metrics you're collecting by pulling in the breakdown of the points to start curating a strategy of how you want to attack this game versus this opponent. Not only can you report on the stats related to the games and opponents, but you can also report on the player side of things. So throughout all their performances in their games, how many total points, conversions, field goals have they scored? And based on how many games they've played, you can get their average stats per game instead of a form of field like this here. You can also use your column footer to sum up these stats. And using charts and dashboards, you can figure out who your most valuable players are. And that wraps up this Smart Suite Showcase. Hopefully you learn more about how you can utilize our platform. And if you're a team manager of a sports team, you learned how you could use Smart Suite to save time by organizing your game and player information in one place in a cost-effective solution. If you have any questions or you would like your work showcased, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.